Hello, dear friends of energy management! You already know the advantages of transparent energy data acquisition using the Semantic Energy Suite? Then the intelligent load management to avoid load peaks is perfect for you. We will now show you how to configure it. We will introduce the new features of the integrated option for energy management in TIA Portal, the Semantic Energy Suite. The biggest innovation of the new Energy Suite version is the integrated peak load management. With this software, the user can avoid load peaks, which affects high energy costs by switching energetic consumers and producers. The load management is running on S7-1500 controllers and as already known from the Semantic Energy Suite, the PSC program will be generated automatically according to the configuration in TIA portal. The visualization for both the system overview as well as for each actor will also be included in scope of delivery. The second innovation is the integration of CVARG in the Energy Suite. With the automatic generation of the complete energy program visualization, the user will significantly reduce engineering effort and time. The clue of this feature is that the user doesn't need an additional license for using CVARG. It's already integrated in the Energy Suite license. Finally, the PLC cycle time of the energy program will be reduced due to an optimization of the PLC code. Now we show you these new features in a demonstration. Let's start with the engineering of the acquisition program. The formerly known energy program is now divided into energy acquisition and the load management program. The configuration of the energy acquisition program is already known from the former Energy Suite versions and didn't change. The configured objects are now called acquisition objects. What's new with version 16 is the distribution of the energy program. The generated data blocks of each acquisition object are now divided in folders according to the acquisition object tables. Now let's switch over to the engineering of the integrated load management. The mechanism for using the load management software is the same as already known for the acquisition program. That means the user only has to configure the system. The PLC code will be generated automatically afterwards. One requirement for using the load management is that the infeed has been created as an acquisition object. For this object, the property forecast must be selected to automatically create a forecast for the actual period based on its consumption. The value for the power limit will be configured later. Subsequently, the actors of the load management system can be configured. The maximum number of actors is 999. Currently, there are two types of actors. Consumers, which consume energy, and producers, which provide energy. There are four possibilities to get the feedback of the actor. First, a binary status signal, for example, the feedback signal from a switch. Second, an analog value, for example, the active power of a consumer or producer. Third, an acquisition object which has been created before. And fourth, or completely no feedback which is not recommended as the system gets absolutely no information about the current status of the actor. To control the actor, there are two possibilities. First, with a binary signal, for example, to switch on or off an electric contactor. Or second, with an analog power value which will signal the consumption set point to the actor. Before generating the load management program, the correct number of runtime licenses for the objects must be configured. The at least necessary count can be looked up in a new screen in the energy program settings where the user gets an overview of the configured number of acquisition objects and actors. The cost for one actor will be three energy object licenses. The acquisition objects will still cost one license. Now, after all configurations have been finished, we finally generate both the acquisition and load management program. The data of the PSC code for the load management program are located in a separate folder in the Energy Speed program. 
The program can now be downloaded to the PC. After the successful generation of acquisition and load management program, we will proceed with the generation of the visualization. With the integration of CVARC, the visualization for WinCC Professional will be generated automatically according to the configuration in the PSC. As a result, you get screens with the faceplate for each configured actor, as well as the faceplate for the overview of the load management system. Furthermore, CVARC generates the faceplates for each acquisition object, which are automatically connected to the correct variables. These faceplates can now be copied and pasted on a user-defined screen. As a last step, we show you the visualization of the load management system during runtime and the final phase of the configuration. The faceplate of the load management overview signals the user if the forecast of the current period is above the set point for switching. After activating the screen, the relevant data will be loaded and the current status of the complete load management system will be provided for the user. On the upper left side, the user gets the information about the energy consumption of the current and previous period as well as the forecast, here visualized with a dashed line at the end of the period. The detailed difference between the switching limit and forecasts can be analyzed in the diagram on the right. To get an idea about the switching potential of the load management and its actors, the user can update the graph on the very right side. Beneath it, the status of every single vector can be analyzed. Finally, the historic data of up to 7 days for the load management in feed are provided to the user on the lower left side. For completing the configuration of the system, we must switch to the configuration screen. In this screen, all runtime data of the complete system, for example the power limit, as well as for all actors can be configured. One thing to mention here is that there are two parameter sets for the whole system and every actor. If the user needs more detailed information about the status of an actor, the user can open a specific faceplate. There, you get an overview of the current consumption as well as a statistic of the switching actions. The user can also configure the properties of each actor in its faceplates. Those were the innovations for the Semantic Energy Suite version 16. You have seen how the Semantic Energy Suite and the integrated load management can help you achieve a sustainable reduction of energy in your plants. Good luck with your next project! Siemens. Ingenuity for life.